Hey, what's going on? So it's been a while since I've shown face uh, on camera, but it's because I've been actually busy with, uh, you know, life. Uh, and strictly speaking of um, this focus on of, of the channel, um, I've been busy with uh, making technical videos for the channel, of course. And what I'm actually doing now is uh, machine learning and cybersecurity. I'm doing a series on that and I'm, I've also been working on uh, uh, some courses that are not going to be on YouTube, but I'm going to tell you more about that later. So I'm going to answer a question from uh, Quora. And if you, so this is going to be like a really quick question. If you have similar questions, uh, please make sure to leave them uh, in the comment section below. So questions related to cybersecurity Python, uh, penetration testing and, and things uh, related to this, uh, to this, to these topics, if I can put it that way. Also, I'm probably going to start uh, doing live streams on Twitch and uh, it is most likely going to be uh, walkthroughs for uh, machines from Hack the Box, uh, Vulnhub, uh, Try Hack Me, Wizard Labs and I don't know, maybe some other platforms. So uh, do look out for that uh, on my social feeds. Okay, so the question for today, and I'm going to read it from my laptop here, uh, is what is the easiest coding language to learn on your own and where can I learn them without having to pay? So interesting formulation. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be biased uh, in answering this question, but that's fine. I mean... It's my answer. Um, so out of the dozens or even hundreds of programming languages or coding languages that you could uh, like learn today, my number one go-to would be Python. So why Python? Well, first of all, Python has a very clear and clean syntax, which is really straightforward and uh, unloaded with bloatware, unlike Java, for example. Yeah, so it's very clean. If you just want to print something to the screen, for example, in Python, you could just say print that thing or print that string without actually having to import anything. While in other languages, let's say more lower level languages or even languages that have more bloatware, again, Java, um, you'd have to actually write multiple lines of code code to achieve the same thing, which uh, in most cases, it's not as efficient. So the fact that it's really straightforward and clean, that what that's what makes it like very good for uh, beginner programmers to actually uh, take it, to actually take it as a first programming language. On top of that, you have the fact that it's, um, it's supported by a very large community and there are literally thousands if not uh, tens of thousands of uh, libraries that could of python libraries that could make your work more efficient in whatever field you'd be there are python libraries for astronomy for uh, math for machine learning for uh, i don't know medical stuff for genomics for uh, DNA sequencing for whatever you're working on. And, and in our case, there are a lot of libraries for cybersecurity, um, like for example, Python and Map. If you would be wanting to automate uh, some part of your um, fingerprinting or network scanning process when you're actually uh, working on a cybersecurity assessment or on a penetration test, you'd be using Python and Map to actually stack together multiple commands, and even you could probably even use uh, the NMAP scripting language to run uh, vulnerability scripts on the target. So uh, this way you would make your uh, work much more efficient, more automated, and less time consuming. So you would have uh, you'd be able to uh, take your hands off the, the process and actually uh, have the hands on on uh, the parts of the assessment that would, uh, let's say, uh, require more of your 
focused attention. So this is only one example in which uh, Python, due to the fact that it's so supported by a large community, uh, could be applied to parts of cybersecurity. And there are many other ways. And uh, uh, I want to tell you that I'm going to do a lot of videos uh, uh, regarding Python and cybersecurity. So yeah, not, it not only applies to this field, but you can, you can use libraries for many other fields that would make your work much more efficient. And this means that you wouldn't have to write so many lines of code to achieve something uh, because you'd be using a library that someone already has uh, put up, someone has already wrote for you to make your work much more efficient. What I'm trying to say is that if you're a new programmer, uh, Python is a very good starting language because it's really easy to understand. It's really clean and there's a lot of support from the community. And that uh, actually gets uh, us into the second part of the question is, uh, where can I learn them without having to pay? So since there is such a big community around Python, since it's one of the most used uh, coding or programming languages at this time, uh, you can only imagine that there are literally probably an unlimited number of free resources online that where where you would be able to learn Python. So I'm actually going to link a couple of these resources, a couple of my favorite resources uh, in the description of this video. What I want to say is that I also I'm also on a, a constant learning uh, path. So as I keep discovering uh, more of these uh, resources, I'm actually going to share them with you and probably uh, through uh, videos like this one. Okay, now a little bit of a shameless plug here. So I told you at the beginning of the video that I'm actually working on some courses. And one of the courses that I'm uh, working on is a Python for ethical hackers course, which is a beginner course. So in the first part of this course, I'm actually gonna uh, teach you the basics of Python, really like step by step. And then in the second part of the course, we're gonna actually write some scripts uh, little programs uh, that would uh, help you in your cybersecurity assessments and or in your penetration testing assessments. So yeah, if uh, you want to know more about that, please make sure to check the link in the description of this video, which will take you to a sign up form. You'll have to put your email there on a list. And when I release the course there, I'm going to send a one time big discount to uh, this uh, list. So yeah, check the link in the description for that. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you have similar questions related to cybersecurity, penetration testing and Python, of course, which is the subject of this video, please make sure to leave it. Uh, in the comments uh, section below. In the description, I'll also have my Twitter, my LinkedIn, and of course, my Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and all that stuff uh, where you can interact with me. Okay, so that being said, if this video was helpful to you, please make sure to like it and subscribe, and also share it with uh, everyone that's interested in this topic. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next video.